for having me. I've been a student of breath for the past 20 years. Did you know that as human beings, we could survive for about 40 days without food, about 11 days without water, and about just five minutes without air? Yet we spend so much time and so much effort and so many resources on how we eat and how we drink. And when it comes to our breath, we just take it for granted. Imagine a day that you go to a doctor because you're not feeling well and she or he asks you, well, how are you breathing? I'm hopeful that that day will arrive. In my line of work as a personal trainer and as a yoga teacher, I use breath in two ways. One is to improve athletic performance and the other one is to de-stress. And today we're gonna explore how to de-stress through breath. I'm gonna make a statement and I want you to think about it. What is in the mind is in the body and what's in the body is in the mind. Let's explore that statement through visualization. Visualize with me a lemon. Imagine that you're in your kitchen. Go ahead and close your eyes and pick up a lemon from your kitchen counter. Now bring it to your nose and smell it. That fresh, zesty smell of lemon. Grab a knife and slice it. Remove the seeds and bring it to your mouth. Squeeze it and get a good sip of that lemon juice. That zesty taste. Now raise your hand if your mouth is watering. I am definitely salivating. This is a perfect example of how the mind is connected to the body. You see, the lemon wasn't anywhere, but it was in your mind, right? And yet your body produced an appropriate response by salivating. So what's in the mind is in the body, and what's in the body is in the mind. Now let's replace that lemon with stress. Whether it's real stress or perceived stress, doesn't matter. When it's in your mind, your body is producing the appropriate response. That is, it is producing adrenaline, cortisol, cortisone, stress hormones and such to get you out of this stressful situation and into a peaceful situation. So when you have stress in your mind, your body is trying, fighting to get you out of that stress by producing the appropriate response. Now, my question to you is, can we reverse this process? Can we relax the body so that the mind is relaxed? So that we're producing less of those stress hormones? The answer is yes. How do we de-stress the mind through the body? Well, there are many different ways, but today we are gonna talk about de-stressing through breath, through visualization, and through posture. Speaking of breath, let's get started. I wanna request that you commit with me. Go ahead and turn off your cell phones or if you have any other screens around that might distract you. I wanna invite you to fully commit for the next 10 minutes. I assume you're sitting down. Go ahead and sit back and relax. Rest your head back and just observe your breath. No judgment. Analyze and see if you're inhaling through your nose or through your mouth. 
and then observe that breath and see if it's going into your rib cage or down into your belly. When we breathe into the diaphragm, that is this big muscular bag attached underneath the rib cage, it pushes the belly out. So sometimes it's called belly breathing. So if your breath goes down into your diaphragm, it pushes out your belly a little bit. So observe your breath and see where it's going. The way we breathe tells a story. If you're breathing and your breath is staying right in your rib cage, that means your body is experiencing some kind of stress and it needs to respond, just like our example, it needs to respond to this stressful situation. If your breath is going into your belly, the brain is signaling the body that stress is over, it is time to relax. So we're going to use that particular switch and breathe into the diaphragm so that the brain gets signaled back that stress is over, right? We're going to reverse engineer this. So one note on the inhale and exhale through the nose. I want you to inhale and exhale through the nose as opposed to your mouth because then you produce nitric oxide in your nose. It's a gas that's a vasodilator. That just means it relaxes your uh, airways as well as your blood vessels. So it reduces blood pressure pretty fast. So let's go with the breathing. Now I want you to keep both feet down on the ground and relax your lower legs. And then your knees are apart about shoulder width or so. Your hips are grounded on the seat and you're leaning back. Feel free to close your eyes and inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. Try and get that air to go right deep into your belly. Another breath in deep and out all through the nose. Now, sometimes we get stuck in stress mode and that diaphragm does not take in the air. So in that case, I want you to take your hands along your sternum and just continue along the bone and see if there's any tenderness along this area. If there is, just massage it and then come down to that opening of your rib cage. Hold your hands on both sides Breathe and let your belly emerge and come out. Exhale and let your belly drop back down. Continue in this fashion. Hopefully now you can see your belly emerging in and out. See if you can notice the quiet with your inhale and exhale right into your belly. And continue with your breath. We're gonna put a count into your breath. We're gonna inhale counting to five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Inhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Inhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now continue your breath at this pace without counting. Just deep inhale and deep exhale. We're gonna use a visualization technique to help with de-stressing the mind as well. Imagine that you're driving down to your favorite warm water beach at sunset time. As you're driving, you lower down your windows in your car. It's just you, it's just the car and the universe nobody else and nothing else to worry about. You inhale that smell, that air of the ocean. You notice a parking spot. You park your car and you head for the shore. As you enter the beach, you take off your sandals and you're dressed just right for the weather. Truly comfortable. Step on the sand and you take a moment to take in that warmth of the sand. You feel that warm breeze of evening summer wafting through your face. You step forward and get closer to the water and you witness this beautiful sun going down with all its glory. You watch the beautiful colors of purple, orange, red, yellow, white. Take a deep breath and mark this as your quiet space knowing that you can come back, take your leave, and come back to the seat in your room right now. Have a seat upright and tall, and then go ahead and stand up. So we worked on breath, visualization, and now we're gonna work on posture. So we're gonna take just the one posture. I want you to bring your arms up. We'll call this the victory pose. When people achieve something great, they put their arms up in this position. And this actually reduces the stress hormones by 20%. So next time you feel stressed, you have three things to choose from. You can sit down and breathe, or you can visualize that beautiful sunset, or you could come up in victory pose and imagine your favorite Olympian winning the best medal and you're celebrating that. 
Thank you for your time.